Hello friends. In today's episode we chose to compare two of the most terrible animals in the world. Although they cannot be compared in size to bears, big cats or even most canids, these little monsters outperform even the strongest predators in toughness, aggression and willingness to fight to the last drop of energy. Because we have talked about these tough guys in other episodes, today we will only talk about their most important qualities, which could decide the fate of this confrontation. As is usually the case with animals with a wide range, the weight of these animals varies quite a lot. The maximum weight that a honey badger can reach is around 20 kilograms or 44 pounds, and a wolverine can, in exceptional cases, weigh almost 35 kilograms or 77 pounds. The difference is huge, but if we talk about two medium-sized adult males, this difference will be much smaller. This is because an adult male honey badger usually weighs between 9 and 16 kilograms, 20 to 35 pounds, and an adult male wolverine usually weighs between 12 and 20 kilograms, 26 to 44 pounds. In any case, we must keep in mind that wolverine has the advantage of superior size and strength in this confrontation. Although very similar in terms of temperament, these two animals are very different from another point of view. In short, we could say that the honey badger is very capable from a defensive point of view, while his opponent impresses us by the fact that he can shoot down much bigger prey than himself. This does not mean, however, that the honey badger is based only on his defensive qualities and strengths, and that he is not capable of impressive victories in front of much bigger and stronger opponents. It is said that this terrible animal has the cruel habit of actually castrating its opponents, causing them to bleed to death. There are stories that the honey badger applied this treatment even to an African buffalo. They have an inbuilt arsenal of weaponry in the form of guillotine like teeth and powerful claws which can grow up to 40 millimeters. Its teeth are so strong that they can smash a tortoise shell. However, the reason why even the most terrible hunters of the African savanna avoid these legendary creatures lies in their incredible defensive arsenal. A honey badger's skin is thick, rubbery and impervious to a machete. The honey badger can literally turn into its own skin. The skin is loose and the badger can break free easily from the grips of a predator. It also has an incredible immune system which can fight the effects of deadly snake venom. And, as if that wasn't enough, it seems that the honey badger never gets tired. They can literally keep fighting for hours on end. As I said earlier, the wolverine looks better armed offensively than his opponent. Leaving aside the fact that it is larger and stronger, the wolverine possesses a special molar that is revered 90 degrees, which is used for breaking through bone. Their jaws are powerful and the combination of strong jaw muscles and special molars allow them to eat every part of the animal including hooves, bones and teeth. Unlike honey badger's blunt claws, wolverine's claws have a special mechanism that allows them to stay sharp. These claws are also curved and therefore ideal for hooking and shredding. And if you were impressed by the earlier story that a honey badger managed to kill a buffalo by castrating him, you should know that there is a story that a wolverine killed a polar bear by latching onto the throat with its jaws and suffocating it. Due to its ferocity, Wolverine often manages to impose itself in front of bears and wolves in disputes over animal carcasses. Although I usually try to talk on this channel about the most balanced fights, I admit that it has rarely been so difficult for me to choose a winner. I can hardly think of a fight as balanced as this, maybe only the eternal confrontation between the lion and the tiger will be on the same level. If I were forced to choose a winner, I would probably bet on intelligence. It is known that honey badger is highly intelligent and ingenious. They have the ability to break through locks on fridges and even stack rocks into piles to climb over walls. But normally, I would say that there is equality and that the result will depend strictly on the circumstances and the individuals involved. I am curious to know your opinion about the outcome of this fight. Thank you for your attention and please take care of you and your loved ones.